Hello, I'm Joshua, and I'm an INTP, and first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you for viewing this video and subsequently visiting my channel. The topic of this video is going to be on SPs, but it's just going to be a general overview, overview of what I think about SPs as a personality uh, constellation in general. And um, first and foremost, I'd like to say that one of the things that I think that's underappreciated or at least understood about SPs is that they actually may be responsible for more of the mapping of religious practice and human behavior and human history than most people give credit to. And the reason I say th the reason I say that is because for the most part, Spirituality may be something that is known from the intuitive landscape, but its actual functioning or the actual religious functioning of the world is through practice, activity, ritual, sacrament, and actually very strange modes of practice and being. The impetus to take a risk and then to catalyze that risk and organize it in some manner that is, uh, well, at least... Mm, mm, I guess like catalyze and repeat it in such a manner that's at least valued to a society is really or a group is really the modus operandi of most religious practices and activities. You don't you you take communion um, because that is something that in action edifies the intuition or the soul. It's an action and through behavior that those things come manifest. Well, how is it that we can think of what to really wrap and encapsulate ideas by? And I think this is the misunderstanding of SPs in general. SPs want to take ideation and ideas and express it through the living context of the world. It's to be incarnate. It's to make whatever is apparent in the revelatory space something that lives here in a communicative manner that we can all take reference by and understand its meaning and be invigorated and inspired by it. So why would an SP like to dance and why do they come up with the styles of dance that they do? Maybe perhaps because those geometries, those harmonies, and those symmetries in the human form and figure, to them represent things. They really mean something, something from a broader standpoint or a broader context. It's also oftentimes why they're strange little uh, spiritual kind of creatures, even though they're more earthy and artisan-like. They don't practice their art or do their things because they mm -hmm. are so, um, I guess, stymied by the activity of what's here and what's right now. Um, maybe that's what they pay attention to in the immediacy of their waking life, but what truly animates an SP and what really makes the core of their being is something more of some kind of uh, I'm just going to use a painter just because it's easy they're looking at a particular landscape and then trying to depict that landscape the landscape though that governs their attention is not actually the one that people most readily associate with them and the reason I say this is just because that's in their subconscious. And so that's all I'm going to say for now. That's my video. Thank you for watching.